hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you liked the video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only, so everything is alleged, some is not. And the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So, let's get to it, y'all. Let's get to it. So, y'all, they call itself doing damage control right now, y'all. They are out right now to try to save Drake's career. This is what they call themselves doing, y'all. Because he is the... He got the short end of the stick, y'all. Literally. Okay, y'all. Um, it's going down right now, y'all. And I know a lot of people is like, oh, this is a distraction. This da, 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 da. Um, this is a lot of Hollywood, y'all. Stuff that's coming out right now. And it needs to come out. This stuff is didn't just start. This stuff has been going on for years, y'all. They even have a video of this man that predicted this five years ago that Drake was going to go down because of the fact that Drake is in the same boat as R. Kelly and in the same boat as P. Diddy. This is what was said years ago. So th these rumors have been going around for a very long time. It didn't just start. Okay, y'all. Now, People should have been paying attention when this guy started putting all these borettes and all this stuff in his hair. They should have paid that attention that it was something off about this guy. Okay? Now, I know that there's a lot of celebrities that, you know, put the little, you know, the, the little balls that the little girls wear in their hair and stuff like that. And they put the rubber bands, different colors, and this and that and, that and this. But this guy went all out, y'all. He started polishing his nails, you know, um, putting all of these little bows in his hair like he's a, like like he got a daughter that he was playing house with or something. Okay, y'all. This is what he was doing. Okay. Um, it's been something strange going on with Drake for a very long time, y'all. And I did not know this because I'm not a Drake fan. I do not listen to his music. The last thing that Drake did, I'm going to be completely honest with y'all, that I probably listened to was when he did that song with the Migos, y'all, okay? I don't listen to him like that. So, I don't, you know, I'm not a fan like that. It's a lot of these people that I really don't listen to, especially when they represent certain things, and I found out I stay away from their music and stuff like that. I don't want that mojo coming my way, okay, y'all? Um, So, word on the street is... Drake has um, some type of fetish that, you know, he hangs out with a lot of models. Because, you know, a lot of pretty women, they like to be around men with money. Okay? So, they said that he um, dates certain models. Not really date them, but, you know, um, you know how they mingle tingle time with them. Um, and they said this is one of the things that he does. One of his fetishes is that he had these models. You know, eating out of dog bowls and stuff like that. Drinking out of the dog bowls and stuff like that. He likes them, you know, crawling around like a dog. Y'all. So, he basically, what they're saying. To me, this is what it sounds like. That he likes to degrade women. Y'all. He don't really like women like that. He likes to degrade them. And make them, you know, feel lord and dirt. This is what it seems like that he does. I don't know I, I what type of woman would go out with somebody and they tell them to eat out of a dog bowl and they do it or drink out of a dog bowl and they do it and get down on all four and start drinking out the dog bowl. Like what kind of sick crap is this? But these are the rumors that's coming out right now, y'all. Okay. Um, they also, I've heard a lot of stuff that's going on, y'all, that I have to just break down to you a little bit at a time, okay? Um, then they say that he did a video, and he had a bunch of dogs in the video, and he had them with their barrette symbols on their head, just like he liked to do his hair. And, um, he had a lot of different, you know, girls' names on the, the um, the choker, you know, the, um, the, the, the dog chain, whatever they call it, the dog chain, Okay. He had all of the um, different girls' names on those. 
And I, I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't have those models wearing those dog chains. Uh, I'm just saying, y'all. Name tags. Whatever y'all call it. I done forgot, y'all. This stuff didn't just... This is like the Twilight Zone to me, y'all. I feel like we have just entered into the Twilight Zone. All right, y'all? Now, when I say that they call themselves doing damage control, y'all, there are videos coming out now. Not only is these videos coming out... At the same time, um, a little man or a small person or itty bitty, whatever y'all told me to call him, okay? Y'all said don't say the other words, so I'm trying to say something else. Small fry, okay? He didn't came for it now. Now, first, he released this long little, you know, journalist, you know, paper. It looked like he just was doing some his work because they say he's a journalist. He released this long little journalist, little journalist paper you know, saying a whole bunch of nothing, okay? Not that, you know, what people wanted to know. He was kind of like, you know, dodging the, the questions of what people was throwing out there for him to answer, okay? So, it's a lot going on right now, like I told y'all. They're calling they stuff doing damage control. I'm going to start with the other videos that's coming out. There are videos coming out right now. There are videos coming out right now, y'all. And these videos are somebody releasing a video saying that Drake is the one that was leaking this other guy. I forgot what his name, a Dutch of Ellie, something like that. They're saying that Drake is the one that was leaking information about some guy named Dutch of Ellie. I think that's his name, y'all. Yeah, I thought about Machiavelli when I saw this. I was like, "What? where is this story taking us, y'all? But anyway, this guy named Dutch Avelli, he hangs out or works, I guess, in Dubai. And when I say he works, that means um, he works, y'all. Okay? He started off trying to be in the industry and people hooking him up with certain people. And he did certain favors and things for people, you know try to fulfill their fetishes so that he could move up in the industry but they said it didn't work that he ended up being somebody that a, a pass around okay so now they putting out these videos saying that drake is the one that exposed this guy but the thing of it is that every everything that everybody is saying that drake did at this hotel and all of this other stuff that's coming up about um the d to the o to the g's and the um and look, man, y'all, small person. I think that's what they said, small person. So everything that they said that Drake does right now, and even his preference of who he dates. Now, I don't know what this really this 616 was about. You know, I thought about where well, maybe the 616 was an age range. Is that Drake's age range that he likes? I don't even know. I don't know what this whole, the, the 616 was about, to be honest. But... I thought it was some type of age range. Is that why he, you know, Kendrick named it 616? I don't know. Okay, y'all? I don't even know. But it's a lot of weird stuff going on. Okay? um, So, now they're trying to do damage control and act as if that, you know, Drake was the one was trying to expose another person. No, we, we all got it wrong. He's not the one that's out here, you know, after and tweeting the one to the foe you know, one to the four year olds and um trying to holla 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 at people that he shouldn't be trying to holler at because the, the, they they not old enough. They're saying that we got it all wrong. It's not Drake. Drake was the one that was exposing. So these are the stuff that they're putting out now. Now I must tell y'all I must tell y'all Drake called himself finna come out with some new music. Y'all now he don't want no more smoke. He don't want no more smoke with Kendrick. This is what they're saying. He wants no more smoke with him whatsoever. He's done with that beef. That is over and done. But now they're claiming that he is coming out with some new music, y'all. This is what they're saying. He's coming out with some new music called, this is what they say he posted, Good Times, Summer Vibes, Up Next. So he called himself finna release some more music, y'all. This is what they're saying. Um, I want to know how y'all feel about this because I'm going to tell y'all this. 
I don't think nobody want to hear no music from Drake right now. I don't, unless and they're sick like him. The stuff that has been coming out lately and the stuff that they say that he's into and that he's doing, you know, to keep up this image of this 666 person, um, Satan, um, the stuff that he's doing to stay relevant in the industry and the things that they have allegedly on him right now, um, I think this has messed him up for, for life. And anybody that listens to his music is got to be something wrong with them, y'all. I'm just, I'm just going to say this. If this stuff is true, what they're saying about Drake, which I, I don't care how good of music that he puts out after this, I don't see people bopping to this mess. It's just like R. Kelly. A lot of people don't listen to R. Kelly no more. A lot of the songs that, you know, he, he had Aaliyah even sing. AJ number, the number, and all this other stuff. It got a different meaning to it now. Even if he put out some feel-good, summer vibe music. I'm just saying, y'all, I don't think people are ready for that from him right now. I don't think they're ever going to be ready for that from him. My personal opinion. But y'all let me know in the comment section. Anybody that was Drake fans, that was in, that's in my comment section right now. If all of this stuff is true, what they're saying about Drake, would you still, you know, stream his music and bop to his music just because it sounds good? I just want to know, y'all. Okay, because I don't think so. I think this has damaged him completely. And for him to be calling himself come about to release some new music and this and that and that and this, they playing in our, our faces right now, y'all. Now, let's get to Itty Bitty right now, y'all. Let's get to Itty Bitty. Um, Drake's other half, y'all. Let's get to him right now. Um, He came out the first time, allegedly, and he did some kind of article. It's like a long sheet. You know, he was talking about stuff that this did not, nothing happened between him and Drake. This is the written part that he did before he did this live. He did this long written thing, but he did not address anything. So everybody was like, you ain't addressing nothing that people want to know. He started talking about his life and all kind of stuff. This is what he was talking about with the long drawn out, you know, whatever he wrote or typed up. Okay. And it didn't answer anybody's question. Okay. So after he put that out and nobody bought it. Everybody was like, whatever. You know what I'm saying, y'all? They could care less what he was saying, okay? Um, they said, no, nah, something fishy about this whole situation. Something ain't right about this. He claims that in the little written part, he said that um, he had just met Drake that night at, when they had went out to dinner. That's his first time actually meeting Drake. This is what he was just saying, y'all. So... That made it even worse because everybody started lighting in on that comment on the stuff that he was saying. How do you, that's just like a woman that's at a bar and then, they, you know, or out to eat and then she meets somebody and then they, they, they hit it off. And then later on, she's going to the hotel room with him. And this is what it looked like when he said that. Oh, I had, you know, I just met Drake that night when we was out to dinner. This is what he said. And then how do you meet somebody out to dinner? And then you end up in a lobby with him at three o'clock in the morning going up to his room. Because they're saying that there are, there's footage of him outside of Drake's room. Um, Y'all... Everybody lit in on Itty Bitty. I'm not going to lie. They did. Because they was like, nah, you seem like you're trying to cover for him. Okay? So, nobody bought it. So, he turned around and he did a live, y'all. So, he could address everything live. So, he jumps on there. Now, he starts off saying that he had to jump on there because he had to, you know, you know, I guess he needed peace of mind because this was bothering him about all the stuff that's going on right now and, da, 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 and what people are saying and this and that and that and this. So he started off trying to get that sympathy from people to make people think, you know, this is bothering him mentally or whatever, whatever, whatever. And then he goes from that to call himself trying to joke about it. Okay? He started saying that nothing happened and, you know, I guess just people just spreading rumors and this and that and that and this. And then he said... 
I guess he was calling himself addressing the three o'clock in the morning because everybody was talking about the three o'clock in the morning. What you doing with Drake at three o'clock in the morning? Going to the hotel room. So he started calling himself three o'clock. You know, he, he he was joking. He started joking. He went from acting like this was bothering him to him joking about it. So that shows you right there that, that there's something going on. There is some type of damage control going on and he's a part of the play. Okay. I don't know if there's somebody paying him. He said nobody paid him, but I don't know. Okay. I don't know if, you know, Drake and his team is trying to get even him, pay him to come forward and say something. I don't know. But I'm going to tell y'all what I said before, and I'm going to still stick to what I said. I don't think he remembered what happened. Did Drake meet him out to dinner and then, you know, tell him to come to his room, that he'll get him an interview or something like that? Which he could have got him an interview at their table, wherever they were sitting there eating or whatever. They could have got an interview anywhere. But did Drake convince this, this man to come to his room? Him being a journalist, maybe he felt like, I'll give you a story tonight if you want to know or whatever. Because there are rumors that he went to his room to listen to some new music. But, you know, everybody is saying that he, this guy has some type of disability that he has hard, he's hard of hearing. So how and where could he hear his new music? I'm just saying, y'all. Um... Another thing, Drake was supposed to be leaving the next day. So is this how he got him to his room? Oh, I'm leaving tomorrow. We can do the interview tonight. We both lit. It'll be, you know what I'm saying? And this guy clearly be sipping. He be sipping his little tail off. Okay, y'all. Um, so d is this how Drake got this, this, this man to his room? Ask yourself this question. Okay. Now. If Drake threw all his stuff away in the hotel and this and that and that and this, is the possibility that this little guy would slip something and he don't even remember what happened. I said this in an earlier video. If, if he would slip something, he might have an idea that something happened, but he don't really know, okay? Um, I don't know if he even had feelings like, you know, when somebody has been, you know, somebody done something to somebody, they have soreness and stuff like that. I don't know if he had feelings like that, that he could even feel that something would happen, but he don't know what happened. Okay, y'all. Um, was his jaws hurting? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, y'all. But I'm gonna just say this. He seemed like he was in defense mode when he did this live. He started talking about he didn't know all the rumors that was going on about the hotel. That hotel, from what he know, is a nice place. And this and that, and that, and this and this and that. He started saying that nothing happened. And this and that. And the first thing that came to my mind when he said that nothing happened again. Like he's really trying to push the issue that y'all don't know what y'all talking about. Blah, blah, blah. I thought about Monica Lewinsky's. Do y'all remember when, um, what's his name? Clinton? What was it Clinton, y'all? I think it was Clinton. Y'all don't let me, don't let me get it wrong. Do y'all remember when Clinton said, um, I did not have sexual relations with that there girl. Do y'all remember when he said that? Yeah, that's Clinton. Bill Clinton, y'all. I was just making sure I had the right one. Um, do y'all remember when he said that? And we found out later that it was true that he was lying all the time, that it was true what the rumors were, and she showed the evidence later. We're starting to see bits and bits of evidence now coming out, okay? And I'm going to be completely honest. When they do find out, if they ever find out who is really behind all of this, because a lot of people is saying that an ex-employee, is the mole is the one that's putting this information out and he's probably mad about you know or she whatever it was i don't know which employees was fired but i'm gonna say this this is what the rumor is that the mole is an ex-employee that got fired that night and i'm just wondering why did they get fired y'all that's my question right now and why now would they come forward with this when this beef is going on, when they didn't have this for over a year, all of this information? They didn't have this information for over a year. 
just happened last year. I got people coming in my comment section trying to check me. He's 26 years old because I said he was 25. When this stuff happened, he was 25 because this all happened last year for your information. Okay. Um, this is what he coming out saying. Nothing happened between us. Da, 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 da. And like I said, I don't think he remembers. For one, if his little tail was out there getting a sip on, which he does get his sip on. I done seen videos of him knocking them back. Okay, y'all? He do get a sip on. If you mix that with some pharmacy stuff and we don't know what they could have given this guy. And the fact that he threw this stuff in the garbage on the, in the lobby instead of take, throwing it out upstairs. Just in case something go wrong or somebody stop breathing. You, you got to think about this guy is on a ventilator. Okay, y'all? He is on some type of breathing thing. So, if something would have went wrong, Drake, that would have been his tail. Okay, y'all? He could just say, I don't know what's wrong with him after that. But if they would have searched the room and stuff, they wouldn't have found anything because you didn't throw away the stuff. stuff. Okay, y'all? So, that's my personal opinion of why he probably threw it away in the lobby. So, it would not go up to the room with them. Okay, y'all, I said this at first. Now, like I said, little man is running around. Now, seem like he's doing that. Not only is he defending Drake, saying that Drake, nothing happened. But now he's also defending this hotel when all this stuff is coming out. And I told y'all it put a spotlight on that hotel now. Because now they looking for any kind of, you know, people being there. That's not of age. That's in there looking like they working or something like that. Um, they looking for this stuff now. They're going to be looking for different celebrities that's coming in and out this hotel now. This is going to affect this hotel. This is why everybody was trying to stop this beef because that's up, 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 up. Because the people that's attached to Drake in, in, in this whole storyline, they're going to lose money. They're going to look, it's going to be people that's coming in and out of town now that is not going to come to this hotel because this hotel is hot. Okay. And they don't know when some undercovers is going to come up in there or nothing spying on them. So it's a lot going on with this whole story right now. This is why they're trying to nip it and um, trying to do damage control. So did, I think they got to this little man and they tried to get him to come forward and say something. He probably don't even remember what happened that night. Because, like I said, he came on there acting like, oh, this is bothering my mental. But then he turns around and starts joking, saying, 3 o'clock in the morning, oh, we party. This is the city of New York. We party. This is what he said in his life. Now, every time that you see this man on his lives, um, doing whatever it is that he's doing, out meeting celebrities, all of that stuff, he's with somebody. He's with his mother or he's with some type of aid, like an assistant or something like that, to help him. Why would he be in a lobby with Drake and, and his team and there's nobody with him? Why would he be staying at a hotel when he live in New York? Now, it's a possibility that he felt like, you know, I'm finna party or whatever, 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 which I don't see him partying. Like, especially if your life is on the line right now. But it is what it is. But if he decided to party, he could have been like, you know, he didn't want to keep everybody up. He had just gone to get a room. But who stayed in a room with him? Why would your assistant, if you had assistants staying in a room, not be with you? Why? And why would you be going to Drake's room instead of going to your room? And if you had an assistant that was there to be there with you, why wasn't they with you in that lobby? It's a lot of still unanswered questions, y'all. And I don't care how you want to feel about this because a lot of people get in their feelings. You know what I'm saying? I think I lost like two subscribers because they was like, are you wrong for talking about this in, in this way? But it's a lot of kinky stuff going on in this world. Okay, y'all? It's a lot of kinky stuff going on. And one thing that a lot of people love to say, okay? Don't, we want to be treated just like everybody else. People with disabilities, people that is sweating Skittles, all of that stuff. Everybody always, this is their, this is what used to be their motto. When they go to comedy shows, we want to be treated like everybody else. But then when people start doing what they say, they won't. Then they get upset. When Dave Chappelle and them start joking about, you know, people sweating Skittles, and they were some good jokes too, okay, y'all? 
people start getting offended. When you talk about little man right here, people want to get offended. Pick a side. You can't have it both ways. When, when it's, you know, convenient for you, it's okay if somebody treats you as equal. But then when the shit hits the fan and you're the company that you're keeping is suspect then you don't want to be treated equal. You don't want nobody to talk about you then. Y'all, come on now. You can't have it both ways, okay? You cannot have it both ways. It's one way or it's another. We talk about everybody else on here. When they suspect and doing suspect stuff, we're going to talk about this one too, okay? If he is running around here with a disability, can't hardly breathe, they're saying that he wasn't even going to make it when he was a baby. So he was. He, they say he wasn't going to live out till he was even four years old. But he lived longer, okay, y'all? You would be extra careful for the simple fact that you have this disability. You out partying with people like Drake and DJ Khaled and them and all of this is suspect, y'all. It is truly suspect. And he had the nerves to bring that up too. That I, I represent people with disabilities, and you are you are you are talking about all of the people with disabilities. If you're talking about me, no, 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 we ain't. We talking about just you. You the only one that's in the lobby at three o'clock in the morning going to Drake's room. That's you. That's you all day long. He said everything was innocent. Did nothing really happen that wasn't supposed to happen. So uh, that alone, something he said something in that nature, and I'm gonna say this too, and that further tells me that something went on. Now, was it consensual? I don't know. I don't know what his preference is. I don't know that. But it's something. It's not adding up, y'all. And when that part body is not only coming out to address something. Instead of just going on out and tell us, you know, I went to his room for this or that, that, and this. Possibility he's saying, man, our own business. But if you want to be in this inner circle and be partying with the celebrities, then you're going to be talked about with the celebrities. Because something that ain't adding up. And there's a serious accusation that's going on, especially when they saying that, guess what? We recorded it. Okay, y'all. When you are recorded, allegedly, 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 ain't no coming back from that. Ain't no coming back from that. Did they, are they going to get to this guy that's putting this, that has this information? Are they going to get to him and pay him off? It's a possibility. Does it mean it's not true? No. This still could be true. And like I said. Did, did, didn't the president say that I did not have ritual relations with that there girl? And we found out he was lying, y'all. So why do we just automatically supposed to believe him right here? This guy is hanging out at a hotel that's known for traffic to the king. Okay, y'all? This guy is hanging out with people that's out here. Kinky is all outdoors. So we're just supposed to not believe that he's not, just because he's hanging with these crowd, he not like that. If you're going to say birds of a feather flock together for some people, you got to put him in that category too. Especially when there's rumors going around that he himself has accusations against him. Y'all, and I don't know how, like I said before, I have no clue how somebody can let him do something to them. I don't, I don't see it unless there was somebody holding them down. Okay, y'all? That's the only way. That's the only way that this guy could have uh, did anything to somebody. I want to see the female that came for it. Or I don't know if it was a female or, or a guy. But I want to see who came for it and actually said something that this guy did, y'all. But something still is not right about this whole Thing, okay, he said not 3 a.m. Yes, 3 a.m. This is him. This is what he was saying, y'all. And he said, so what? It's New York City. We party. This is what he just said. How do you go from, oh, this is messing with my mental, as if the rumors was getting to him, to joking about it, y'all. 
to joking. Because I was looking for him to be like, oh, uh, y'all are doing some stuff to me. You should stop lying on me. <laughs> stop. I thought, I'm thinking he's going to say something in that nature. But he started joking. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. We party in New York. He almost sounded like Puffy when he said this. I kid you not. He literally sounded like a mini me Puffy. A mini Puffy. Okay, y'all? This is what he sounded like. We party. It's New York. So you party with people that have these type of weird parties. This is why P. Diddy is all over the news right now. Because of these weird parties that he's throwing. And you're partying with the same inner circle of people. Now you're hanging with the next alleged R. Kelly to the 25th power. Going to his room. And you still ain't said. I mean, did y'all take the party to Drake's room? What? You have somebody coming out saying they have footage. And you're still not answering any questions. You're defending. Not only Drake, you're defending the owner of the restaurant too. Okay, y'all? Um, Something is weird about this. And like I told you, every time a little man get happy, the mouth go open. Okay, y'all? I ain't trying to be funny. But you, he, his mouth stay open and tongue stay out. Okay? Every time it get a little giggity giggity. You're talking about somebody that was at a hotel, at a get-together, hanging out with Drake and others. Because you know it was some old kinky people up in there too. It wasn't just Drake. Okay? Little man hanging out, partying, without his mama, without his assistant, sipping, no doubt, Getting his feel good on. Okay. You end up in a lobby with somebody that's throwing away bottles of stuff that make you sleepy. And you want us to believe that nothing happened. Nothing happened. Drake throwing away stuff. All kind of stuff. Okay. You want us to believe nothing happened. I beg to differ, y'all. And to be honest with y'all, I'm you know, when you a mama bear, the first thing that comes to your mind is what was she even thinking for even let him be hanging out like that? And I know people are gonna be like, oh, he grown. But this man is attached to a machine, y'all. Okay, y'all? He's attached to a machine. And I think the only reason why he came out was either because they trying to do damage control and they got up with him, or they lighten up his comment section, y'all. They're lighting comment sections up talking about him. People was going in dragging this man. But they was doing it in a nice way, trying to find out some information. They were asking, what did Drake do to you, brother? Please speak up. We don't need evil people being praised. This is what people was going in on him saying. Why was you getting pushed in a stroller by OVO at 3 a.m. in the morning in a hotel? Everybody wants answers. So when he put out that little statement, that wasn't enough. This is why he wouldn't laugh. Because they are lighting his comment section up on his IG and all his social media sites. Okay, y'all? Now, another thing that they are saying is there's some kind of drama going on with DJ Academics, because they're saying that his lat his um IG is no more or something like that, or paused or whatever is going on with that. That his IG, you cannot go to his IG right now. So something is going on, y'all. Something is literally going on. And people are saying that if DJ Academics actually saw Drake doing what they say he was doing, I heard the audio. I did not see the video. People in my comment section saying, did you see the video? No, I didn't. And I don't even want to see it. But if I did see it, I will tell y'all. I will surely tell you. I wouldn't be holding it back like DJ Academics is doing. Um, The look on DJ Academics' face was priceless. He saw something. I heard some type of 
dog sounds that like somebody was doing something to a dog that's what i heard now other people is saying that they hearing some kind of you know sounds that you make when you doing the do or something like that um and this is what they say they heard but i heard something being done to a dog okay and it wasn't nothing nice it wasn't no nice sound okay y'all but this is why i do believe that um little man that came out he didn't came out to talk about whatever that's going on but he is covering it up now either he don't remember because there are rumors going around and i'm gonna say allegedly 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 but there are rumors going around that this is what is being given to females so that they can fall asleep when they're around certain artists okay y'all they're saying it about puffy all of that this is what they do okay and there's so much stuff being said today they saying that the reason why you know puffy gave him that open hand you know possession was because he was tuning in on his territory okay i don't know what it was but when you got two kinky kinkies they bound to run into each other in a circle okay y'all they're bound to run into each other's stuff so was he stepping on puffy's turf possibility it's a possibility he hanging out in new york this is his spot where he goes to all the time. Of course, he gonna run into the mingling and tinglings of Puffy's little inner circle. This is where Puffy from. Okay, y'all. Um, let's get to Kendrick Lamar's song. Kendrick Lamar's song that he put out at the beginning of this song, 616 in LA. At the beginning of this song, you hear a ventilator going, y'all. And I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. The reason why I believe this is because I don't think that Kendrick will put something out if he don't have the proof. Because this is something that he could have got sued for. Instead of them telling Drake, you know, please tone it down and stop the beef. They would have been coming at him with lawyers if this stuff was not true. They can't come at him with no lawyers right now. For that alone tells me that this was the truth that he was putting out. And I heard Itty Bitty say this when he called himself defending them and all of this stuff. He said that he didn't met Drake and he also has met Kendrick Lamar. Now, let me tell y'all something. Kendrick Lamar don't take me as somebody that would meet somebody that has a disability like this and put out accusations on him. And not have proof. I don't see him being that evil to this to this little man. I don't see it, y'all. Whatever it is that they showed Kendrick, he saw the real deal. Just like probably DJ Academics. That's why he's having his problems right now. Okay, y'all. Um, I think that Kendrick saw the real deal, the tape and everything, and what really happened. He knows some stuff. This is why he running around saying he's sick. He's talking about his mom and daddy. Y'all had somebody that is disgusting and he should not even be alive. This is why Kendrick is coming this way. And I don't think that he would just throw a little man under the bus just for a rap song. He has so much stuff in there that he didn't have to even put itty bitty up in there. Okay. He didn't have to put that information in there. He had really already ate him alive with that song. But for him to put that in there, they wanted to let Drake know that they got proof of his minglings and tinglings, okay? And they wanted him to go back in his memory and remember this night for a reason, y'all, okay? For a reason. We don't know if Itty Bitty came out of that room with, I'm just saying, y'all, half-dressed. We don't know what this man saw. But he saw something. He knows something. And this ain't the only tape that people are saying that's floating around. This ain't the only tape. We don't know what was going on in that room. Do they, can they have pets in the rooms? Did, did, did Drake have his, his dog? And did, I'm just saying. Did little man have the puppies? I don't know. I don't know. We all don't know. But what we do know is... 
it looked like they're doing damage control right now. For surely sure. And they got their little minions out here. They come into people's pages, talking stuff. You know, when it's a story get outrageous like this, and it is and that and that and this, you got to be careful what you're talking about. I've been saying, I don't know. I wasn't there with them. I don't hang out with people like this. Okay, y'all? But these rumors did not just start. They've been going on for years of what his preference is and was, even back five years ago. Okay? So this is nothing new that's being put out. And to me, people want the bloggers to stop talking about it. Now, it could be just fans that want to just hush this up because a lot of these fans are delusional. Okay, y'all? If you got fans out here that support the nastiest people in the industry, Nasty Red and all of this stuff that she represents and this and that and that and this, and it, they got teenagers, and they go and buy their daughter, teenage, their teenage daughter, tickets to go see these artists. It's a lot of people out here with some screws missing. Okay, y'all. So when they come in your comment section and they talk and they crap about um, this story, it, it, this is just a, a distraction, and just this and that and that and this. They don't want the truth to come out. They have a problem with the truth. This man would not go to these extremes to put certain things in his song and all of this stuff. Before this song came on, there was a noise going on in this 616 song. And that noise is what everybody is saying. Nurses and everybody, they're saying that's the ventilator that little man be using. The same noise that's coming from this man's machine on one of his videos. It's the same noise that Kendrick put in this song when it first came on. Before he even started rapping and talking and singing. That was the same ventilator noise. Y'all, he put that in there for a reason, y'all. It's a reason why Drake put up the red, the, the, that white flag and surrendered. It's because of all the stuff that they start putting out. My personal opinion. It's, that's the reason why he don't want to, he don't want to battle no more. Okay. I do not think this man would make fun of a disabled person by putting a ventilator sound in the beginning of his song. He was letting Drake know he got some serious dirt on him for a reason. Kendra, don't take me as somebody. I don't just see him being that petty, y'all. I'm just saying. I really don't. This is the sound of what was in this. I'm just saying, y'all. This is what they're saying. Some type of ventilator sound when that, first, that song first came on. For him to go into details... This is the same thing this guy is on, this little machine. And it's, you can have the electric ones that you can just take around with you instead of being put on this pole, okay? Um, this is what they're saying that, that's in that song when it first come on, y'all. So it's some serious stuff going on right now with this whole situation. And like I said, this reminds me, and I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. And I don't care if people just hurt people's feelings or whatever, whatever, whatever. I was speaking up for this woman. Because I was like, if this woman found out that something happened to her baby. She seemed like she's very protective of him and all of that stuff. She is <laughs> going to raise the roof. But now that he comes out and he's talking about, <laughs> this is the city of New York. <laughs> we party. 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> that ain't nothing. Then he want to put out, oh, I don't mess with street pharmacy stuff. I don't do this. I don't do that. I, I seen this little man lit. Okay, y'all. So it's a lot if he's saying he don't do this, he don't do that. Because you can be hanging out with these certain people, and they are known for slipping something in your stuff. So he might not think he do stuff, but when he wake up the next day, he still might think he don't do stuff. But he probably just don't remember Okay, y'all, I keep saying that. He probably don't remember. Okay, y'all, long as that little machine still tied to him, he fine. That's going to help him breathe. But him pass out or whatever, I don't think he remembers. And I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to be completely honest with y'all, this is my personal opinion. When I see this woman right now, I see Aaliyah's mother. I see Usher's mother. I see Justin Bieber's mama. When I look at this woman right here, 
Because this little man right here is running around with all of these celebrities that's out here doing the worst stuff in the industry, to allegedly, 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 to people. And he's hanging out with them. So he could be popular. And all of these pictures that he's taking with all these different celebrities and this and that and that and this. So he can come up in fame too. For her to leave him there without anybody to see to him and all of this stuff. I'm just saying, y'all, what's really going on? We sit back and watch Aaliyah get passed around from this person to that person to that person. After R. Kelly, we thought that Aaliyah was going to be, go get her somebody that's, you know what I'm saying? Go chill out somewhere. We seeing all of this stuff coming up Aaliyah now. I did not know until recently that Aaliyah was hanging out with P. Diddy and all of these other people in the industry that's doing more kinky stuff than anybody. We that big bed that um Puffy got at his house that everybody be sitting on that bed. Aaliyah was on that bed too. Why in the world is R. Kelly locked up when you went to other people in the industry? She started met. <laughs> Word on the street, she started mingling and tingling with Jay Z. How in the world you go from R. Kelly to Jay Z? And then hanging all around Puffy. Then you you started. I guess she stopped at what you call Dame Dash. I guess could have been more. I don't know. But she was. I can see it was some nice guys. She was going from this person to that person or something. But all of them is the, the trash of the industry that she was going from one trash to the other trash to the other trash. Then she finally settled down with Dame Dash. Why did R. Kelly get locked up if everybody else was going to do the same thing with her? Why didn't Jay-Z go to jail too? Ain't him at... Let me see what's the difference in the age. Let's go to it, y'all. How old is R. Kelly? R. Kelly is 57 years old, y'all. R. Kelly. How old is Jay-Z? Fifty-four. Three years apart. Three years apart. Three years apart, 54. How old is Aaliyah, y'all? 22. Thirty-two years apart. But no, did she pass away when she was 22, y'all? Oh, she passed away. Wait a minute. Let me get it. Either way it go, three years apart, him and Damon Dash, y'all. She passed away in 2001. So, she would be 45 years old right now. Okay? He was still nine years older than she was. This is kind of normal. I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. Within a 10-year mark, sometimes people date people at least within 10 years and younger. Okay? So maybe that's why with the whole Jay-Z stuff. But if you're going to look at R. Kelly the same way, why ain't Jay-Z in that boat? Didn't they say he did the same thing to Foxy Brown? I just don't understand how one person can go down for stuff and then the other person, they don't go down for it. I don't understand that. For doing the same exact thing. And this is itty bitty right here in a circle. 
He's hanging out with the top dogs in the industry. Y'all, what in the world would Drake and this little man have in common to go to Drake's room? I just don't see it. And they all probably got a little buzz. It's 3 in the morning. They've been out to eat. You know they done had some little sippy sip. Probably a little bit more than that. Instead of taking a woman to his room, he took this man that everybody thought was a baby to his room. And now little man is not only defending him, he's defending the hotel people too. And rumors are the hotel people is just like, I don't know y'all, but they're saying it's just like the Epstein people. Okay, y'all? And he come out defending them. That this is a nice hotel. So everybody else and their mom and them is lying. I don't know, y'all. Mama Bear right here, my personal opinion, ain't no different than Aaliyah and them mama and everybody else. Aaliyah and them, they became rich. Usher and them became rich off of hanging out with this circle of people. Is this how little man became famous? Is this why he got all the pictures with the celebrities and this and that and that and this? Is he being and passed around in some kind of sick fetish stuff? And Mama Bear don't care as long as he's coming up in this world with these celebrities? Because I don't see why he would be out without somebody with him. Anything could go wrong. That little tank could stop working. Anything. He would have needed a nurse or somebody around him or some type of assistant that have him in the medical field to stay with him at all times. If this was somebody... If this was my child, I don't care how old he was or is, I would want somebody in the medical field around him all the time. Got an extra tank around, all this stuff ready for the work on him whenever. He can't do stuff for himself. I don't know if he uses the bathroom, if he got a pamper. I don't know all of this. Did Drake change his pampers? Did Drake take him to the bathroom that night when he had to go? Like... It's so many questions that needs to be answered that they're not answering. And they can look at, oh, they being nosy all they want to. You want to be famous? Well, you out here with the famous people. They get talked about they, they what they doing. You're going to get talked about what you're doing with them. You want fame? Here it go, little man. You wanted this. So it it goes. People is going to talk about this. And a lot of people do not believe anything he said. A lot of people don't believe him. People is talking about this Jimmy Brooks. You know, he put that in a song that Jimmy, Jimmy wouldn't be, you know, happy about what you did that night. He played this role on a show he was in. And he played somebody that was in a wheelchair. So why would somebody say that the person that you were portraying as an actor wouldn't be happy about what you did that night? Why would this be put in any songs or whatever, y'all? Why? And now he want to pop out and say, I got some new music coming out. This summer fabs up next. Who the hell cares? Don't nobody want to hear nothing from you. People are running up on him in streets right now, y'all. People are running up on him coming out on streets right now. And a lot of people saying he was about to run because he's selling his stuff. So he could be in town, take care of some business, trying to see, you know, how people going to react to him right now. I don't know. But he ran up on some people and this is what they were saying. Don't come to L.A. no more, homie. This is what they were saying to him when they were running into him. Don't come to L.A. no more. And we all know L.A. don't be playing. We all know that. They just told him not to come back. So.
So do y'all think anybody want to listen to Drake's music right now? Because I, I don't think so. I truly do not think that anybody want to hear anything this man has to say at all, y'all. I truly don't. Ain't no way. Anybody want to hear a, a thing he has to say? So y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this whole situation. Because I do believe that they're doing damage control. They're trying their best. Oh, yes, they are. They are trying their best to clear his name so that he can get back out here and get them endorsements back and, you know, sell some more music and this and that and that and this. Nobody wants to hear him. Just like nobody wants to hear Quavo. But I think people was more into Drake's music than Quavo because I never liked Quavo music until he was like with the Migos. Uh, other than that, I, I don't listen to him like that. But Drake, I don't listen to it for a purpose. Not because he's not talented. I think he has a little talent. But I think he's overrated. But everything that he represents outshines his talent the little bit that he has. What he does and represents with the Satan stuff and this agenda that he's pushing for men and little boys that listen to his music to think it's okay to wear borets and get their nails polished and this and that and that and this. What he represents in this world to chase little ones, texting, grown man out here texting, little ones, people go to jail for that. And Lord knows if anybody come forward and say that he sent them any kind of pictures that was inappropriate, it's going to go down for real, for real. And I think they're trying to get ahead of that right now. But it's not going to work. It's too late. And everybody is like, oh, Kendrick said he's, the beef is over. I don't think it's over. I truly do not believe it's over. And if it is over, it doesn't matter because the damage is already done, y'all. So it doesn't matter. But anyway, y'all, let me know what y'all think. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.